All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a much later than usual stream. I wasn't really planning on streaming this, but it's just something that I found out about today and I wanted to check it out. So, Time Splitters 2, we all know Time Splitters 2. It's like one of my favourite first person shooter games. But there's this weird game that came out by Crytek, the guys who own Time Splitters, that came out several years ago. I think it's called Homefront The Revolution. And. Yeah, let me just boot let me just boot the game up real quick and you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm not gonna go into it yet, you'll you'll see. You might get a little bit confused by this, but I'll explain it in a second. It'll make sense in a matter of moments, I guess. Let me just uh, get quote unquote time splitters booted up here. With CryEngine. Also I may have to adjust the volume a little bit. So you're thinking, wait a minute, Deep Silver, they didn't make Time Splitters 2, what is this? So this is Homefront the Revolution. Uh, don't worry, I'm not trolling you, I'm not going to be playing Homefront the Revolution, I'm still playing Time Splitters 2. So basically, there was an easter egg in this game where you could play the first couple levels of Time Splitters 2 in its entirety, but apparently the entire game is actually within the code of this game, and for the longest time the person who I guess you could say ported it to this, didn't remember what the code was to unlock it, but recently people have found out what that code was. So I guess people did some data mining and detective work and figured that out. So the entire game of Time Splitters 2 is technically ported to the PC, you just have to get this game to play it. I already have this game on Steam, I basically spent all day downloading it once I found out about this. So, if I go into the extras menu, there it is there, Time Splitters 2. Also, I don't know if you saw that flashing on the screen there for a second there. There was just like a, a few like porting credits for the people who did that. But yeah, here's Time Splitters 2. So for those that don't know, Time Splitters 2, obviously it's a sequel to a game called Time Splitters. I've never played the original Time Splitters. But I played Time Splitters 2 on the GameCube back in the day, and it's like a really fun first person shooter. Out of the darkness, they came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. I can't turn the volume up any louder than this right now due to how seize the time crystals and turn their twisted weapon against them. Due to how the PC port works, you know what? I'm sorry to do this, but I'm gonna restart the game again. Like so something about this like PC port of Homefront is annoying. Basically what's happening is if you try to alt tab away from the game, uh, the entire game goes silent, so I can't like turn the volume up without you guys missing some of the dialogue. So I'm just going to reboot the game again, and we will try that again. So bear with me, sorry about this. I love PC games that go silent when they're in the background, that's like my favourite PC game trope. Let me just move everything back into place, and I'll turn the volume up a little bit this time. Also, I don't think subtitles are in this version, so... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit weird. I mean, the subtitles in Homefront the Revolution, but I don't think they're inside the PC version of uh, Time Splitters 2. But let's try that again. Extras. Let me turn this up a little bit. Right, hopefully now it'll be a little bit more audible. Out of the darkness they came with a hateful will to destroy humanity. We fought long and hard, but now we are lost, for they have taken their evil war into our past. Traveling through time, they have sown corruption, unraveling the fabric of our history. Our last chance is to strike back, seize the time crystals, and turn their twisted weapon against them. The fight for survival has begun. Over. Roger, you are clear to go. Proceed as planned and good luck. So there's a protagonist there, that guy that looks a bit like Vin Diesel. Mr. Not Vin Diesel. I think his name is Cortez. So 
so I never played the first Time Splitters game, so I have no fucking idea what's going on here. I guess it's just a direct continuation of the first game's story. Okay, move out. But basically, we've got to kill aliens. That's the most, like, when you boil it down to the most basics, that's what it is. Just like evil aliens that can time travel with crystals. You've got a patrol on level two. Oh, hey there, Deej. I was gonna stream this earlier tonight, but it took a while to like download Homefront. It's like 50 gigabytes. We detected a power surge on the bridge. Uh, 60 gigabytes, actually 63 gigabytes, according to Steam. Looks like we're You're already moving the crystals. Cover me. I'm going in. Even though Homefront only has the first two levels without the unlock code, it's funny how the entire like intro cutscene is still intact. See, I played a little bit of Time Splitters 3, but I never like played much of that one, but I've heard that one's really good. Sadly, that one has not been ported to PC, but I could always like play that on Dolphin or something, or maybe like... Like, there's been rumours going around for like a couple years now that uh, Crytek might end up like porting the original two games, like remastering them in the future. But I think I'm fine with just playing Time Splitters 2 this way, and if it does come to like the Switch or something, I'll probably just buy it anyway, because I do like Time Splitters 2 a lot. So give me one second here, let me, let me just make sure everything is working correctly. Again, this is one of those PC games where it's like you basically... How, how do I put this? It's like you, you all tab away from the game and it goes quiet, it's like one of those games you can't really fix that. Hang on. Where is that thing? Sorry, I'm having difficulties trying to navigate Windows right now because when I boot up Homefront, it makes Windows 10 act a little bit weird. Right, okay, so basically in, in this version of the game you only get access to the first two levels, but there is a hidden cheat code that the developers put in and they forgot what the cheat code was and, and it recently got discovered by like data miners. So now you can play the entire game on the PC, officially, at least by some official means. Oh hey there MSP. So I'm going to put this code in, I've got it up on my screen now, so... I'm going to be playing with the Xbox One controller, so we're just going to input the... Like, you can put it in in various ways, like PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or keyboard and mouse. But I'm going to do the Xbox One method of inputting the codes. So, LT plus up, LT plus up, down, so if you have Homefront the Revolution on PC, you can do this as well. This actually works. Uh, LT plus right. LT... Oh, shit, that, 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 that was RT, not LT. Let me do that again. LT up. LT up. Down. LT right. And then RT left. Then RT B. Then LTY, LTY, RTX, and LTA. So if that worked correctly, yep, there we go. I've got access to every single level in Time Splitters 2 now. So I don't know how many levels I'll play tonight, maybe like the first three or something. How many is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, yeah, so I can maybe do like three or four levels tonight. I could probably knock this out in a few sessions. So I'm just going to play on normal mode because I'm not the best. Are you going to continue with Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance? Uh, at some point I will. I just need to get in the right mood for Kingdom Hearts again. Siberia, the Oblisk Dam. A secret research facility under a Siberian dam has unearthed preserved organic specimens which are over 10,000 years old. Following a number of mysterious accidents, the original scientific team has left at the site and the Russian military garrison has been assigned to the excavation point. 
Intelligence has been revealed that the military's attempts to develop biological weaponry f from the fines. Oh, there's actually a lot of text here. How much is here? Because I... Okay, there's, there's, that's not too much. The intelligence reveal... I'm, I'm bad at reading, by the way, if you don't know that. Like, I'm, I'm not a good reader. Like, I'm, like, I can read shit, I just can't, like, vocalise it that well. Intelligence has revealed that the military's attempts to develop biological weaponry from the fines have been dread... From the fines have had dreadful results, they must not be allowed to continue this research. Although biohazard cleanup forces are on their way, there is an opportunity to investigate the base and destroy... The... the why, why am I so bad at reading? I, I don't know why that I have issues with this. Like, it's not like I didn't learn how to read, it's just I'm bad at, like, doing this. Anyways, you know what? You guys can read that silently, silently yourselves. I'm not gonna put myself through this pain, I, mean, I just want to play video games. Professional streamer and also professional reader. So the character models in this game look very Team Fortress-ish. We shouldn't be in the research center without security clearance. I'm telling you, I heard gunshots. They'll kill us if they find out. Come on, coward. It's kind of weird that I'm playing this on the PC, like not through like dolphin or emulators. Like this is actually legit. Also, I love this dude's reaction here. Like, his facial expression here is, like, amazing. Yeah, I remember that cutscene. So, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies inside the... in the damn research facility thing, so... Also, when we time travel, we take the appearance of, like, somebody from that time period. So we went from a Vin Diesel lookalike to, I guess, like, a, a Soviet, a female Soviet spy. Also, remember when I played GoldenEye 007 a little while back? Does this not remind you of GoldenEye 007? Fun fact, when this game was in development, a lot of the people that were working on GoldenEye 007 were actually involved with this game, so... I guess you could say the first level is a bit of a love letter to GoldenEye 007. Which is one of the many reasons why I love this game so much. Even the music kinda sounds like it would come from that game. Right, so let me figure out the controls before we continue. Right, that's good. So the controls feel like it's actually dual analog, so it's not like... I, th I think on GameCube it was a little bit confusing because at the time dual analog wasn't even a thing yet, so it was something you had to like readjust for, but... I'm actually using the Xbox One controller right now, and it feels like a modern first-person shooter, so that's fantastic that they actually went, went through the extra mile to like do that. So I think this is a silent sniper rifle, so they shouldn't hear this. Let me just see if I can walk on. Oh, that ain't a silenced. I'm not sure how to... Okay, this is silenced. So yeah, this this almost seems like Golden Knight, doesn't it? It's, it's almost just like a dead ringer for it at this point. Which is funny because I streamed GoldenEye 007 Remastered not that long ago. Even like the, the enemy grunts kind of sound similar. Yeah. Speaking of GoldenEye, the, the health bars also kind of resemble it. Again, several people that worked on GoldenEye 007 from Rare were involved with this game, so it kind of shows. I don't know if the volume is too loud because I can turn that down if necessary. 
right, so let's see, what are my objectives? Deactivate the communications disc, investigate the secret digging site, retrieve the time crystal, access the top of the dam, secondary objective, burn all the evidence in the filing cabinets. Do I have... It says burn them, do I have something that does that? Oh, so there are cameras here. If I bring up this thing, I've got to watch out for those cameras nearby. Watch out for that security camera. So how does this look on the stream? Is it looking fine? Another security camera down there. There we go. I'm not sure if anybody helped that, but at least I got rid of the camera. Right, I think that deactivates the communications dish. Oh no, it brings it down. I think I need to get an explosive for that, but I'm not sure what it is. Might be in one of these buildings. I haven't played this game in years, so I don't remember the exact like solutions to like doing the missions. But I'm sure the tool I'm looking for is around here somewhere. Uh. Where'd that come from? I see a filing cabinet there, but I can't burn it. I'm not sure where that person was that was shooting at me. I thought they were down there, but they're not. Hang on, let me go look for them real quick. Oh. I think health packs are in this game, I just don't know where they are. I'm gonna suck at this, by the way. It's been a long time. That's my excuse. Oh. I do not know where the fuck this person is. Am I really going to die to this pit? In fact, you know what? That person can wait. Hang on. Temporal uplink, I think this is what I... No. Well, it says deactivate the communications link, but I don't know how to do that. I assumed I had, like, proximity mines or something to, like, blow it up, but... Can't seem to find those. This is what I'm supposed to use. Nope. See, if I could see where I'm being shot from, like if it gives you like a directional indicator, then I wouldn't be having this issue with this guy right now. Wherever he's firing from. Ah. Blah! I love like an old golden eye, like the old golden eye game, like when you shoot people. And they always like sound like they're vomiting. It's like they go. Hur, hur, hur. Not up there, are they? Uh. Duh. I think they actually are. How the fuck did they see me? Oh wait, they're a sniper. Wow, well I'm off to a great start. How much health I have left? Just a tiny bit. Excellent. Right, that doesn't really help.
Right, I'll go, I'll go look for proximity mines or like explosives or something. Maybe that's what I need to get for that door. Can I just blow this up by shooting at it? Guess not. This isn't like GoldenEye where things explode after you shoot them like three times. There's another filing cabinet. Right, I'm just going to continue on more. I'll probably find explosives as I go because I don't see them there. So yeah, it's been a long time since I've played this game, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. I would assume that steam hurts me, which is why I have to crouch there. Did I get a better gun? No. No, I've still got this gun. I think... Oh. Oh hey, look, it's that golden eye alarm sound effect. Okay, so I'm about to game over. I will probably have to redo this again. I like the music though. Music's pretty good. I think the AK 47's in this level as well. Or the facsimile of it. Oh, is that a grenade launcher? Soviet S 47, that's the. I guess that's like the facsimile of the AK 47 in this game. There it is. Oh, nice. I don't think you can heal yourself, but you can find body armor, much like Goldeneye. Oh hey, this has got a grenade launcher built in. I'm guessing... How, how do I activate that? Wait a minute. I'm gonna see if I can blow up that uh, communications dish with this. Forgot about that. So yeah, the communication dish is right there. Whip button activates the secondary fire. Uh, before I figure that out, I'm gonna wait for the dish to turn the rounds. Okay, it's the it's the RB button. Nice. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do that, but it works. So yeah, RT to fire, RB for secondary fire. I don't think you can rebind buttons in this PC port. I think what you're given is what you get, but at least it's dual analog. So it's very much playable compared to the GameCube counterpart, which is probably not aged that well. Much like the original GoldenEye. Yeah, I think you need to, like, you need to find like sticky mines or something and then stick them to that, but I don't know where they are. Oh, do I have to, like, turn that down back here as well? Steam pressure at 33%. Hello, comrade. I have a Russian accent. Steam pressure at 0%. Right, so what else do I have to do here? Investigate the secret digging site, I think that's coming up. Restore the power, retrieve time crystals, and then access the top of the dam. I think the secondary objectives are optional, I think that's just for unlocking extra stuff. So I don't think I actually need to do that. Huh? 
Oh, jeez. Right, so now we're cooking, and I've got things going here. Some more body armor, nice. I don't- I think there's auto-aim, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me turn the volume down of the game ever so slightly. One second. Just gonna turn it down a smidge, just so it's a little bit less loud on my end, and a bit more, like, mixed up with everything else, so it doesn't, like, the mixing is good, I guess. There we go. There's no way to bring up a weapon wheel, sadly, as far as I'm aware. Any more cameras around here? Uh, there's one more ahead somewhere. Oh, sniper. Yeah, there's a little bit of aim assist. That's good. That was close. That thing almost spotted me there. Time crystal located. Right, that means the end of the level is near. Oh, didn't see that. Should have checked my little uplink thing. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Yeah. Yep, that's what happens when you don't pay attention to where the cameras are. So wait, why is the option quit there? Why not retry? Oh. Yeah, so there's no checkpoint. You have to like do the entire level in one sitting. So since you didn't join us at the start, MSP, uh, did you know that this is a game within a game that I'm playing right now? I'm actually playing a game on Steam right now called Homefront The Revolution. This game is hidden within it. For the longest time, only the first two levels were accessible, but somebody recently found out there was a hidden cheat code in the game that actually contains the entire, like, uh, campaign. That one guy kind of sounded like he said, NYET! You know, the, the Russian word for no. I mean, he could have said that, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. There. Give me all that ammunition, please. Fantastic. Yeah. <sighs> I've never played Homefront the Revolution, but I do have it on Steam. I don't know, I bought, I bought it on sale at some point and I never got around to playing it. But yeah, Timesplitters 2 being in that game is kind of like an easter egg because Crytek, the people who made that game, uh, also own the rights to Timesplitters 2 and I guess the Timesplitters franchise in general. So they just snuck like Timesplitters 2 in there for some reason. So what you're seeing right now is like a full PC port of the game that was like, the majority of it was like basically inaccessible until recently. If we didn't have the cheat code to unlock all the levels, it would just be the first two levels I'd be playing. I think if you hit the front of the camera that like just one shots it, 
Like if you hit the lens. It's the same in Goldeneye. Isn't that mines? Oh, wait a minute, isn't there like a hole in on the roof that you have to like fall into? I think that's how you get in there. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's that's how you get the mines for the the security dish thing. Satellite dish. Yeah, someone's still sniping at me. I think that might be close enough to explode it. Mm, no, I need to get higher. I'm just gonna ignore that sniper. I know where he is. I'm just gonna like not bother with him. It's not worth it. Gonna put one more up there for good measure. Oh. Ah, jeez. I wonder if the time the mines can be used to destroy the file cabinets. Those are, like, indestructible. I guess, like, I know there's a flamethrower near the end of the level. I guess I need to get that and then burn them. Right, let's just continue with the level then. I've got much more health this time going into this part. See, I'm still getting my bearings since I'm, I haven't played this game in a very long time. But I haven't recently played... Oh, haven't recently played GoldenEye 007 Remastered, I think I've got the gist of this. There we go. Hit that in the lens, and then it just dies instantly. Dead. So yeah, I wasn't even planning on playing Time Splitters 2, but I found out about this, like, you know, the entire game being, like, playable this way. I mean, it's either this or play it through Dolphin, which I guess it is possible to do it that way and, like, use mods to make it nice and stuff, but it's kind of like jumping through several hoops at that point. I already have Homefront the Revolution on PC, so it's just a, an easy thing for me to do. Plus, all the bindings have been done for me, pretty much, because... Again, dual analog is already like built into this version. You can also play with mouse and keyboard, but I, I prefer playing with like a controller. Ah! That was a good voice. Right, I think the body armor's in here. There we go. I've got mostly full health. Steam pressure at 66%. Hello, comrade. Right, I'm going to stop doing that joke now. It's not even a joke, it's just me doing a very poor imitation of a Soviet voice. Steam pressure at 33%. Steam pressure at 0%. So, I don't mean to be a bit of a downer, but did anyone hear the news that uh, Prince Philip died? over the past day, because I heard about that, like, earlier today. I say today, but it's like four four past midnight. It's four hours past midnight over here, it's like 4 a.m. But yeah, it, it, it was something that happened. Apparently he had heart issues. Admittedly, I don't, I don't really, you know, follow news regarding, like, the royal family, but it still kind of sucks. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. There goes most of my fucking uh, body armor. I think there's another body armor down here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so like Goldeneye, you've got to watch out for explosions because they will just end you. I've 
I've got like five grenades inside this thing. See if I can aim this right. There we go. Any more around here? Oh. I'm being sniped at by somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there's a camera there. Oh, he's shooting. Oh, there's a sniper up there. Oh, fuck. Body snipers, piss off. Shoot. Shoot me. Then I can line my shot up without getting hit. I think I got him. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. There. I think there's like one more camera around here, so I've got to be careful. Ah, oh, didn't get rid of that one! I thought I blew that up. I'm dead. Professional gamer moment right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna funnel them through that bit. Oh, fuck. I don't know where that explosion came from, but I'm glad it happens. Yeah, there's like two cameras back here. There's like one right around this corner, and then there's like one a little bit further down. Yeah, there's the other one. Yeah, sorry for my, like, sporadic aiming. It's a little bit hard to get the exact, like, sweet spot. Like, auto-aim will automatically target the nearest enemy, but it doesn't work on cameras. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna spawn from behind me. Any body armor here? No. Nope, doesn't seem... Got the game cart. Oh yeah, that's like a hidden game, isn't it? I don't know if that's in this PC port. Oh hey, look, this looks like the facility toilets in Goldeneye. It's almost like the same textures and everything. You know what was really cool about Time Splitters 2? Like, there was a multiplayer mode where you could play kind of like Goldeneye. But there was also like a map editor, and you could basically create your own maps for multiplayer modes. Not only that, but you could also create your own like, uh, like, scripted like single player maps as well. Oh fuck. What are your tasks? I need to... Investigate the digging site, retrieve the timer crystal, and then get to the top of the dam. Alright, guess I couldn't do that quick enough. I'm just glad that these guys get Olga. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. I thought I heard that him shooting a grenade, but it was just a bullet.
Apparently there's something here. Right, I think I'm almost at the digging site now. a turret in there. I forgot about that. I think there's like two turret guns. Yeah, there's another one. System disc required. I think that may be like a hard mode objective. Yes, yeah, so I'm probably going to die a few times as I'm like learning the level. Also, you want to see something cool? I like that it has physics to it. Like the the extinguisher fuel stuff, whatever it's called, the, the foam basically propels it around. Not sure if there's a camera in this tunnel. Nice. Got some more grenades. I've got like 21 grenades in my gun right now from my secondary fire. Right, I think we're coming up to the, the digging site, so I'm almost there. Oh. Can I break this? No. Switch the camera off. Let's go. Oh, nice. Shotgun. I call shotgun. How do I open this? Unless it was just for that gun, I guess. Maybe I'm not supposed to go in there. Yeah, let's backtrack. Actually, let me check my, my temporal uplink. That might show me if there's another room behind that door. Apparently there is. I just don't know how to get into it. Unless there's like a separate switch somewhere. Guess I just need to follow this for now. Apparently there's something up there. Unless it's like up the stairs, I'm not sure. Uh, may maybe not actually, let me just continue down here. If, I if it's a dead end, I'll just go back and look for whatever that is. Yeah, so here's the digging site. Right, so I have the time crystal now. So I need to get to the top of the dam and I guess burn out the, that stuff if I can find a flamethrower and do that. Alright, so far. 
I guess I just need to backtrack and go to that one elevator that takes you to the top of the dam. Food supplies. Oh, there's another body armor. How much do I have right now? Right, if I need to get some more, I'll, I'll just uh, grab that. I don't see any enemies. Usually when you get the time crystal, a bunch of enemies spawn, but that hasn't happened yet. Weirdly enough. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but so far it doesn't seem like I'm not. That doesn't seem like I am doing something wrong here. Oh, I need to restore the power and then that works. Right. Right, well the temporal lump link should show me where it is then. I'm assuming the power can be restored through this building. Must be weird watching me stream at this hour. Because I don't normally stream this late. It's like 4.17am over here. Usually this is about the time where I end my stream. Don't think I can interact with that. Doesn't seem like it. Hang on. Is there something in here that I missed? Like, I got the crystal, but is there something else that I missed? Hang on. Did those, did those guys drop anything? Doesn't seem like it. I think those were the two guys in that opening cutscene that got killed by the Zombos. But I don't see said Zombos. Right, time to check all the rooms again. Oh. Okay, I didn't know that would open that. I'm really bad at aiming the grenade launcher. So there's all the zombos. Yeah, so I think I have to kill all the zombies before I can get out of here. Right, so that system disc I can use to activate the power and then get out, get the hell out of here. So I'm almost done with the level now. I remember the second level in this game as well. It's like 1960s or 1950s, like Chicago or something like that. Like during the time of like pro prohibition. That's a pretty cool level. A lot of the levels in this game are really fun. Right, so I believe that will activate all the elevators, so I can now go back and get to the top of the dam. Hopefully not die along the way. Yep, power restoring complete. Destroy biohazard container at the digging site, is that an optional thing? Hang on. Do I need to do that? Shit, I need to go back and do that, that's mandatory. Wait, how much... I've still got most of my most of my uh, body armor, so I, I'm just gonna risk this, and then I'll grab that later. Look.
Yeah, I'm not going to waste bullets on them. I don't have that much ammunition left. Can I? Can I? Yeah, I can put them on their bodies. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, put that on your arm. That's going to kill both of them. No? Wheels. Right, so the container is here. There we go. Right, now I can leave. Oh yeah, if you get bombed on this, you take continuous damage for a while. It kind of sucks. Did I get a better gun? Wait a minute. No, I didn't get a better gun. Yeah, you think those guys with like the black suits would give you something better than what you're holding right now, but now they're just using the same Soviet guns. But yeah, I believe there's a guy up here that's got a flamethrower. I'm not sure where he is though, but I know he's here somewhere. Look at that ammunition. Thank you. I'm running out of bullets. Oh fuck. Uh oh. Fire hydrant. Where are you? I saw one, but I don't know where it was. Ah! I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, shit! I, I saw it, but I don't know where I fucking saw it. Now no, I'm dead. This will not go away until you, either you die or you extinguish it. Ah! Oh! could have sworn I saw it along the way and I, I lost my place. I mean, there's the flamethrower, but it doesn't fucking matter anymore. I'm pretty much lost. Nah. Ain't gonna survive this. I knew it. Fucking knew it. <sighs> Alright, speed run time, let's go. Well, I say speed run, but you know, aiming's a bitch in this game. One second. There. I just wanted to get rid of that. I'm surprised they can't heal that. I think I got the sniper. Uh, 
So yeah, it kind of sucks how I failed the mission just because I couldn't find the fire extinguisher in time. Whatever. I know what I'm doing now, so I can go through this at a reasonably fast pace. How long have I been streaming this for? About an hour? Jesus. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do three levels tonight. Depends on how long it'll take me to do the second one. No, that sniper's still alive. Hang on. Ah! The instant microsecond I step out of that, I get fucking hit in the heads. Got him. Tumbling up the stairs. Yeah! 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 Sound of the arm! Yeah! Completely forgot about that camera. Six four percent. But yeah, if this game were to come to the Switch, I'd be fine with that. I'd probably buy it just so I can have it on Switch. Like I said, there's been rumours going around for a while now that THQ Nordic and like Crytek are going to be releasing like a remastered version of this game and I guess like the first game as well. I don't know about the third game, maybe they'll do like a, a trilogy pack or something? Where they're gonna, gonna like release them on modern platforms? I don't know if that's gonna happen or when that's gonna happen, but... Did I? Oh. I did turn that on and then I turned it off and then on again. Or the, the other way around. Right, so we'll go through this real quick. Ouch. You know, I probably could have picked that up on the way back. Yep, hit it in the lens and that just like destroys it instantly. Oof. Yet! Shit. I hate it when they shoot the grenades because that can usually end you. Or will do a shit ton of damage at the very least. Where am I being... Am I being sniped again? <laughs> Hang on. Let me just deal with this first. There. 
Yeah, I think somebody's sniping me from over there. I see him. Eh, yeah, I see you. I think I got him. I did. It's a little bit hard to see them, actually. Like, imagine playing this on a fucking CRT on the GameCube. Like, how would you see that? It'd just be like a singular pixel on your bloody CRT screen. Alright, we're doing good now. I'm gonna continue using the, the silencer hey. for now. Just mount up my... Oh, nope. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Fuck you. What if I destroy this? Would that set the alarm off? Can I destroy this? If you try to activate it yourself, that will turn the alarm on. I wonder if this shower could have worked for when I was on fire. I didn't even consider that. Next time I will not fucking shoot that until appropriate. Ah! 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 I hate that noise. Ah! So I've been binging some more Family Guy on Disney Plus. I saw the the crossover episode with The Simpsons. I think it's called The Simpsons Guy. And yeah, it's an interesting crossover to say the least. Basically, it's a Family Guy episode. It's not a Simpsons episode. So they get away with a lot more, like you know, I guess like gratuitous like visual imagery. I guess you could say <laughs> that there's like one scene where they do like car washing to like catch a car thief. And yeah, if you haven't if you haven't seen that, uh, search it up on YouTube at your own risk. It's a it's a fucking weird moment in that crossover. Do I like the crossover episodes? Um. I'm not entirely sure, but I will say this, it's one of the better episodes of Season 12. Which is kind of sad, because Season 12 is quite bad. Oh yeah, there's like a thing over here, isn't there? The turrets need to get rid of them first. So I've got a bunch of bullets now, so I'm going to start using this gun. the armor for on the way back. Ow! 
that's why you don't pick up the body armor immediately. In case you do dumb shit like that. No foreign bodies detected. Releasing lockdown. Right, almost done with the level. Just give me another five minutes, I think. Probably not even that. Maybe more like three to four minutes at the rate I'm going. Oh. Jeez. Oh, fuck. That was a little bit rough going through that corridor there. I'm going to pick up that body armor on the way out. Is full body armor, no less. Ah, oh, jeez. Not already. Does that not get rid of it? I thought it did. Give the shower. And yeah, the shiver gets rid of it. I think the fire extinguisher also works, but it's a bit finicky, it seems like. Yeah, let me get rid of all these enemies first, and then I'm going to continue. Yeah, I think we got this. I'll take that, thank you very much. So where are the filing cabinets? Was it the ones that I passed by out here? Don't allow any mutants to survive, did I miss anything? Uh, nope, just get to the top of the dam. I mean, the filing cabinets, I don't really actually need to do that, I don't think. I think secondary objectives are just for, like, extra unlockables. Which ultimately don't matter. There we go, going up.
Right, so I just need to walk into that portal and that's the end of the level. There we go. Yep, I completed all the main objectives. Again, didn't finish that secondary objective, but that's not the important thing. Right, okay then, so we're going to move on to the next level. Uh, Chicago, yeah, 1932. I said 60s, but I don't, I don't know my history. It's like 30s. Uh, how much lower text is there? Right, I can read that. Or I'll, at least I'll try to. Big Tony's operations have got a little out of hand. It seems the mob isn't content with running the bootleg liquor and the usual protection rackets. Word on the street is that Tony has knocked off a shipment of a priceless gemstone and he's bringing his brother in to expand the operations. He isn't counting on a hard-boiled detective like Jake Fenton showing up. Tony is hiding out in the Sunrise Club, an exclusive speakeasy. His, his goons doesn't like strangers showing up unannounced so you'll be... you will need to get a membership card. Marco the Snitch should be able to help you out. Right, let's do this. Chicago. And I've had a belly full of it. Everyone's on the take. The DA, City Hall, even the cops on the beat. Being paid to turn a blind eye. But me? Nah, I couldn't. So I got out. It's all down to Mr. Big. He's cost me everything. So tonight I send him a message. And boy, will he take the bait. What am I worried about? It's not me that's got to tell the boss. And Francis can handle himself. Yeah, he can look after himself. What? I love the expressions in this game. What? He's back and he's looking for you. Oh! <sighs> Reese's, come on, you stupid! I want that son of a. I want him dead, you hear me? Dead! Yeah, sorry, there's no dead. subtitles, I can't yeah. turn them on. We'll see about that. But from now on, big. Right, so this is me. Watch of the this shadows, level. Because I'm taking you down. So remember this level you can get the Tommy gun as a weapon, which is pretty cool. Tommy guns are cool. So I've got a silencer. There's my uplink. Oh wait, no, this is my silencer. I think there's a sniper pistol? Yeah. Hey. How did they see me from all the way down there? Good thing for auto aim. Also, I don't need to watch out for security cameras on this level, I don't think. Because remember, this is like the 1930s. It's not Soviet Russia anymore. 1930s Chicago. Right, so let's look at my objectives for this mission. Drain the whiskey barrel 0 out of 4. Rendezvous with your informant. Obtain nightclub pass card, eliminate Big Tony, retrieve the time crystal. Also minimize civilian casualties is an optional thing. I don't know who composed the music for Time Splitters 2, but it's really good. I was wondering how long it took him to notice I was just standing there. Ow. Gotta love those grunt noises. 
You know what I love about this? Like, if you shoot the very top of it, it leaks a little bit, but then it stops because the liquid has actually got physics, or like, it kind of pretends it does. You have to shoot the very bottom of it to drain the entire thing, so if I shoot the bottom of it, all the liquid will actually go out. I love that idea. Like, they didn't have to, like, program it like that, but they did. I think this is my informant. Hey there, it's Marco. Meet me at the newsstand down the main street. Yeah, so that's my informant. Down the main street, I'm assuming this way. Oh. I like how I lost my gun there for a moment because I was using the phone. Oh, so here's the Tommy gun. I'm gonna hold on to that for later. I'll use it now. Guess I was supposed to use that. Don't know if I passed by any, like, uh, alcohol barrels around here. I don't think I did. I think they're all inside the buildings. I've just got two more to find. There's one. I shot it so low it's actually pouring out, out underneath the ground. Actually, no, I can see it a little bit. So he said the newsstand down the main street. Yeah, here it is. Looks like there's trouble brewing in O'Leary's. You better check it out before we go anywhere. Thank you. So all it is is this building. <laughs> you schmuck. I don't know who who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. Okay, they're the bad guys. Oof. Right, well there goes my body armor again. Ah! Didn't know there was more of them. Guys, give me a moment, please. Bleh. Sure are a lot of fucking guys here. There we go. Okay, so now what? Oh, there's a barrel. Oh no, that's a... That's a garbage can. Was there a barrel inside here? I didn't, I didn't see it. Looks clear back that way. Uh, where am I being shot from? Oh. Sometimes I just have tunnel vision and I don't fucking notice. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Keep walking. Keep walking. Funny how these guys only just now show up while this dude's out in the open. I don't know where that bullet came from. I'm assuming that's who was firing. Oh, jeez. Ugh. 
please go in your hideout, wherever the fuck it is. I'm dying, Squirtle. Oh. <laughs> You'll need a pass to get into the Sunrise Club. Tony keeps a spare in his safe. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna die. They said something about a cop being in the safe. Protect, uh, got the TNT. I need to get. I need to get body armor. I'm not sure where the nightclub is. Oh. Oh, fuck. one more guy down there, wasn't there? Uh, no, I don't think so. There's the last battle. Yeah, let's use a fucking TNT to blow up the battle. No, we're not gonna do that. Let's go. I think the safe is up here, actually. I kinda remember this area. Just gotta watch out for baddies. Please let there be a body armor nearby. Oh. If that hit me though, that would have killed me, I think. I got lucky there. Nice. I really needed that. Desperately needed that help that um that uh, body armor. I need to use my sniper pistol now. Find a window and look outside. I guess I can look through this window. Yeah, there's someone... Someone's there. Sadly, I can't really get a good shot at him there because of the bars. Oh. I didn't know you could get, like, pistols that were like sniper rifles, that's cool. Oh. Where did that come from? Aye! See him there. Oh. Ah! Thankfully, I didn't take too much damage there. I think I got them all. Right, let's leave. I hope I got them all. Right, next mission is. Eliminate Big Tony, so we need to go to the nightclub now.
How much? Uh, fuck. Hang on. I wasn't ready for that. I swapped weapons at the wrong time there. I was trying to do something. I was trying to take my Tommy gun ammo so I could see if I was ready. Also, why is that guy... That guy looked transparent in there for a second. That was weird. I'm not sure if that was the lighting engine or... Anyway, let me quickly check how much Tommy gun ammo I've got because I'll need it for Big Tony. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of ammunition. Actually, you know what? I could probably start using the Tommy gun now. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I went round, down the wrong side of the street and I'd go this way. Again, it's weird that this game exists, like, in this form. That said, I would love to see this game come to Switch, because I feel like the Switch should deserve a game like this. It's a classic in my opinion. I'm not sure where that came from, but I'm going to back off for a second. There. I think there's a sniper here somewhere, but I don't see where they're coming from. Is that? I see, I see you. Oh, fuck it. It's not worth it. I'm just running. Ah, oh, fuck. I really hope there's a body armor around here somewhere. Because that would be lovely. I didn't mean to switch weapons. Of course we'll send you a taxi, sir. <laughs> okay then. Well that was completely unrelated to the mission at hand. Just gonna look around for body armor before I go in there. The body armor could be inside that building. Uh oh. Oh, that's the t that's the taxi that I called for. What the fuck? <laughs> Time crystal located. I didn't actually know that would happen. I thought that was like you know like bad guys coming to kill me there, but no, this is just a taxi, just a harmless little taxi. I think I'm about to die here in a second. That was close. I really hope there's a body armor just strewn about here somewhere before I go in. Nice. Right, we should be good now. We're about to fight Big Tony. I was about to say Fat Tony, but this isn't The Simpsons. Tony is like the most cliche name you can give like a mobster boss. Okay, so I wasn't quite good there. Yeah, it turns out there's a bunch of other enemies there as well. I should have known better. 
Alright, time to speedrun the level then. Chicago. Chicago. Where did he go? Hey. Fuck it. Almost forgot about that barrel there. Hey there, it's Marco. Meet me at the newsstand down the main street. Yeah, that takes a lot of damage off of you, unfortunately. Looks like there's trouble brewing in O'Leary's. You better check it out before we go anywhere. Why, I oughta... That first ability. Oh. Is that not it? I thought I got them all. Oh, one more. Ouch! That's a good chunk of damage, what the fuck? There. 
You'll need a pass to get into the Sunrise Club. Tony keeps a spare in his safe. Yeah, I love this game as well. Welcome to the stream, Blue Collar Legacy. I hate to see where that... It's kind of hard to see where I'm being sniped from. Oh, I see a guy down there. Oh no, that's a civilian. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the sniper for now and just continue. The armor up here isn't no. But yeah, I'm actually playing. I don't know if you heard about this, but this is actually a different PC game I'm playing right now. It's called Homefront: The Revolution on Steam, and this game is basically unlockable in that. So the only reason I'm playing Homefront and the Revolution is so I can play Time Splitters too. Mm. Yeah, didn't mean to switch my weapon. Is there a way to bring up a weapon wheel in this game, or does this game not have that? Because I know Perfect Dark has like a weapon wheel, but I don't know about this game. To play a zombie mode. I don't think I've ever played that actually. Like, I first played this game on GameCube back in the day. Oh, oh shit. I don't know where that other sniper's coming from. Ugh. Oh. I thought I killed you. Now he's dead. Yeah, I thought I killed that guy on that balcony. I guess I didn't. Gonna start using my Tommy gun now. I think I've got more than enough ammunition to get through the rest of the level. Did I finish this mission? Wait a minute. Yeah, it did. Oh! oh. Civilian? Oh well. I 
Right, almost there. Right, let's try not fuck this part up. Oh shit! I didn't even know there was a second Tommy gun back there. Oh, that, that's cool. Uh, Shit. Thankfully that was... I was about to say thankfully that I didn't do a lot of damage, then I immediately got hit by another bullet that took like a third of my, my body armor. Good. Alright, that was easy. Nice. I did all the missions there, right? Except for the civilian thing, but I did everything else, I assume. I didn't, I should, I should have checked there, but I'm, I'm assuming I did. Right, okay then, so I'll go to the next level, because I'm not going to go back to that. I'm just going to go through these, since I've already spent long enough on the Siberian level that took me like about an hour to get through. So we'll make this the last level for the night, and then I guess we'll do... what's the next one? 2028? Or 2280? But yeah, 1895 Notre Dame. <laughs> Night falls on the... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this up. Night falls on the LED... Let's sit city... <laughs> I did the law. Perez... Oh god, I'm, I'm gonna be really bad at reading tonight. But yeah, the maiden screams within the cold, the cold stone walls of Notre Dame. The rivermen talk of a crazed madman leading a cult of undead followers. Who is this Jacques de la Morte? What devil does he worship and what black magic does he wield? You must release the damsel in distress from dark bolts and make your way through the cathedral to confront Jacques. But hurry, the full moon signals another black mass who also knows about the demons that may have summoned within our, our lady's hollowed holes. Every time a level lo loads up, I always notice like there's a very faint beep in my left ear. Oh, so I'm noticing some weird visual glitches with this cutscene. The angels will come and you will see your destiny. So pure. So innocent. Right, let's check my objectives. Rescue the Maiden, 0 out of 4. Make your way to the roof of... and to escape the Notre Dame and retrieve the Time Crystal and eliminate Jacques de Morte. Jacques de la Morte. Jacques de la Morte. Again, I'm not really good at reading. But I can barely read English as it is. And English is my primary language. So this level just throws zombies at you immediately. Oh, what the fuck? That sounded like I've got hit like 50 times there in one go. Yep, that's what I 
as well. I knew those guys were going to come up there, that's why I tried shooting them in advance. Wait a minute. Oh, right. Never mind. I, th I thought I saw, like, a secret there. Not sure if I missed something. Yeah, I think I missed something. That's usually the deal with me, I usually miss something quite easy. Was there like another switch back here that I need to pull, or do I have to like pull this again? No, that opens that. Oh, I didn't see that. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of hard to see with the texturing around it. Doesn't exactly stick out that well. But yeah, aim for the head. That usually one shot at them. That's a weird question. Do incels belong in the LGBTQI plus spectrum? Is that what the I stands for? I actually don't know what the I stands for. Intersex? What's that? It seems like they're adding a new letter to that, like, uh, proverb thing. Not proverb, what's the words? Uh, abbreviation or whatever. It seems like they're adding a new letter to that, like, every year. Like, didn't it used to be just LGBTQ? And then they added, like, another letter and then another letter. Eventually they're gonna run out of letters to put in there. Gonna start using the Greek alphabet at some point, it seems like. Oh, that's a maiden. Oh, I fucked it up. Yeah, let's try that again. I think I accidentally shot that maiden now, so I'm gonna have to retry that. It was LGBT when I first held it back in 2007 to 2008. Yeah, that's quite a while. So there's a, a little bit of look spring in this game where it's like if you aim down and then you move forward you suddenly like aim forward again. It's kind of like a console thing, even though I'm playing this on PC. I can't really get rid of that. Again I'm playing uh, Homefront The Revolution on Steam, which contains Time Splitters 2 within it. And for the longest time, you could only play the first two levels in this game, but using a cheat code, you can unlock the rest of the levels. So the entirety of uh, Time Splitters 2 is in Homefront.
you have this on PlayStation. Nice. Yeah, I've never played the PlayStation 2 version. I only have, like, I played the GameCube version growing up. But yeah, it's a really good game. I've never played the first Time Splitters. I've played a little bit of 3, but 2 is the one... Uh, time Splitters 2 is the one I am most familiar with. Yeah, I think I accidentally killed the maiden the first time. I didn't even notice she was behind that zombo. Merci. Merci. But yeah, like I said, this game's a classic. Really well made first person shooter. With some of like the people who worked on GoldenEye 007 before they, le they left Rareware. I think the original development team who made this game was called Free Radical Design. And then I think Crytek bought them up and then took all their assets, so now Crytek owns uh, Time Splitters as a franchise. Like this game I'm playing right now, Homefront the Revolution, that's a Crytek game. Which is why they put Time Splitters 2 in it as a little Easter egg. Thank you. Uh, 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 you motherfucker. I was hoping you wouldn't have like went to Warthog there, I was trying to separate the two, but I couldn't. Can you access the arcade and challenge leagues with the codes? I do have the codes with me, I think you can do that. Let me quickly check that out, hang on. Let me just get the codes up on the screen. So yeah, I've got the arcade codes here. Let me just resize the window so I can actually see it. Right, so arcades. LT plus left. Oh, LT and RT plus left, sorry. Uh, LT, RT down. LT, RT left. LTRTB RT left LTRT left Yeah, it's quite a long codes LTRT down LTRT Y RTX and LTA Ah, oh no, that didn't I don't, I don't know if that worked. For some reason... Ah, there we go. Right, now it worked. Right, so there's the arcade modes. Uh, let's see, we got... What, what other codes do I have here? I've got a bunch of codes on this other window. Let me just alt-tab so I can see it. Challenge. Uh, there's also something that says unknown. I don't know what that does, but apparently that unlocks something. But I guess I can unlock the challenges. Let me do that next. So you need to go into the story menu with the levels and then you put in your codes. Skip that. Nice of them to include a good game inside of a mediocre one. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that. I haven't even, like, like, I booted up the game after I downloaded it tonight when I found out about, like, this, like, cheat code letting you play all of Time Splitters 2. I didn't bother playing like Homefront. I just downloaded the 100% save file just to unlock Time Splitters 2, because it's you have to like get to a certain point in the game to like get to it. And I was like, yeah, no thanks. Right, okay then. So challenges RT B, LT plus RT left, then LT plus RT B again. But that just takes wait a minute. I think I messed that up. It's a very weird way of inputting the codes, like you've got to hold LT or RT or both and then press a certain button. That's how this works. So RTB. 
LT RT left. LT Well wait a minute, if I do if I do that it'll take me out of this. I don't think that works. Hang on. That's not right. Like, it's telling me to press the B button again, but that will just eject me back to home front, so I, can't, I don't really know how to do that one. Unless I have to, like, do this, and then I can do it. Like, if I go forward one, and then I go back one, if that makes sense. Right, so let's try that again. Uh, RT, B. Then LT, RT, left. We'll continue with that uh, Notre Dame level in a second once I get this unlocked. Then LT, RT, B. LT, RT, down. LT, right. LT, up. LT, Y. LT, RT, A. Then RT X. I, th I think I fucked that up. I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, hang on. Sorry about this. I really hate reading. Like, I'm trying to read this, and it's just like a big string of text, so it's kind of like hard to like go through it at once. So I apologise for the time wasting here. I'll try one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to say fuck it. I'll figure it out next time. Uh, RT, B. LT, RT, left. Then LT, RT, B. LT, RT, down. LT, right. LT, up. LT, Y. LT, RT, A. RT, X. And then LT, A. Right, so maybe that worked. Yep, there we go. Challenge unlocked. So these are like different optional like challenges you can do. I'll look at them later. So let's go back to story mode for now. See if I can beat Notre Dame tonight before I end the stream. Double headshot. Look at them heads rolling. spring can make it a little bit hard to aim exactly at the head because again if you move back and forth it kind of resets like it resets your orientation so I can't really change that but I can deal with it for now I mean it is cool that you can play this with dual analog controls you know without like downloading dolphin or something and like setting it up to work that way mouse and keyboard like mouse and keyboard can also work this is me with mouse and keyboard right now Wasp and mouse works perfectly fine, but I prefer playing with the controller because I'm a pleb, so I'm just going to use the controller for this. I mean, to be fair, the game is designed for controllers. This was never a PC game to begin with. That part always gets me.
Yeah, let's try and not fuck this part up this time. Merci. Merci. Ah, jeez. I don't know if there's anything in this room. No, it doesn't seem like it. Thankfully these, like, zombies don't go after the maidens. It's just, like, the other, like, the husk zombies that do, I think. Oh, fuck. Oh! Where was that? I heard it, but I didn't, I didn't know where she was. Yeah, let me quickly see where that was so I know where to look next time. Was that around here? I think it was this. Yeah, it was that. Right, okay then. I didn't, I didn't realise she was all the way over there. Yeah, so this game can be a little bit trial and error sometimes in that regard. And there's no checkpoints, so you have to like do the entire thing again. Alright, speedrun time. Speedrun through that part so we can get back there. Like, it wasn't until it was too late I started hearing, like, a zombie punching a maiden, and I was like, wait, where is that? Because I don't see it. And it was, like, the complete opposite side of the room that I didn't even walk up to yet. I say speedrun time, but I'm trying to, like, kill these guys so they don't, like, chase me through the whole level. Because I don't want, like, 30 of them to, like, chase me by the end of it. Because that would kind of suck. I wonder how a speedrun of this game would look, actually. I'll have to look that up. It's always fun to watch speedruns of games to see how, like, people, you know, optimise the runs. Watch out for that explosion this time. <laughs> the Minecraft speedruns are nuts. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of RNG that goes into them. I've never even beaten Minecraft myself, truth be told. Like, I just play that game and it's like, I just build whatever and I don't bother, like, going for the end game. You know, the end of Dragon or whatever. Maybe someday I'll play that game and, like, actually do the entire, like, main, you know, the main story thing. Okay, so she says something more than Mercy. She says the English for Mercy. Mercy. 
Oh, she's a fake. Oh. Oh, you dick. I didn't realise that she was a fake there until I actually looked at the model. I was like, wait a minute, that's not right. Yeah, I'm bad at this. So, third one, ignore. Fourth one, get. I get it now. Can they actually? Yeah, they can get up that gap. Yeah, sorry, this is taking me much longer than I expected. Oh, thank you very much, Blue Collar, for following my following me on Twitch. So I had to like check who that was there. Also, like I said, being the PC version, it's one of those PC games where it's like you old tab and the game goes silent when it's not in focus. I hate PC games to do that. I feel like by this point, you'd think people would stop doing that with PC games where the game just goes completely silent when it's like not in focus. But no, there's still PC games that do that. Right, here we go. Again. Almost hit her there. There. Thank you. Right, now for this one. One more maiden. Time crystal located. Is the last maiden up here, or did I miss something? I think I may have missed something down here. Gonna look around before I continue. see any more maidens down here. I think the last one might be up there. Right, okay then, let's continue. 
Yeah, no. Okay, let's continue then. I'm guessing the last maiden's upstairs. Okay, I've still got most of my body armor, so I'm going to hold on to that for now. Alright, well I guess now is time to take now is a good time to take that body armor. There. I love how sometimes they just like completely drain all your like body armor in like two shots. This will be fun. I'm not sure there's going to be zombies down there. Oh fuck, no! Oh, there's the hunchback. Right, he's going to help us. Oh, jeez. Nah, I think we're good. That's what the hunchback looks like, by the way. Oh, thanks for the friendly fire, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, look at his face. That lovely, handsome face. Let's go! Also, I love how some of the text just overlaps each other in this version of the game. Right, let's see. So all I've got to do now is make your way to the roof to escape the Notre Dame and eliminate Jacques de la Morte. So I'm almost done now. Just two more objectives. And then go through the portal. Alright, one more objective. Is it this way? Oh wait, there was another locked door. I guess I go that way instead. Yeah, let's change to the logger pistols. I think that's probably the better thing to use here. I should check to see if there's body armor back here. Nope, no body armor. What is that? I have no idea what I'm looking at right now, but there's something just sitting there. Can't interact with it though.
Guess I need to use more shotgun shells since it just gave me a bunch. Oh yeah, I forgot this part of the game, this boss fight. Yeah, so most of these levels end with a boss fight. Not all of them, but most do, I think. for the zombies along the way. I've got plenty of body armor though and a good bit of health so I think it should be fine. This isn't even Jack Delamorte, like it's that Jack the Ripper looking guy that I need to kill next. But he should be easy compared to this. Almost dead. There we go. Yeah, they really need to fix that visual glitch. I don't know where the portal is. Oh, there it is. Right, we're good. I'm not sure what's going on with the rain effect. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, hey, look, I finished the secondary objective as well. Yay, I did everything. Right, okay then, so I think I'm going to stop here for now. I've spent about two and a half hours on this, so... I could probably knock this out in two more sessions. I can probably do these three or four next time, and then there's like three left. So yeah, it's good to come back to this. Maybe I'll do some of the arcade mode as well. Oh yeah, for those that are just joining, this is a completely unrelated game, Homefront The Revolution, which I don't give a shit about. It's kind of sad that the only reason I'm booting that game up is just so I can play Time Splitters 2 instead. But it's nice to see that there's like a PC port of that game that you can play without any issues, for the most part. But yeah, I'll do some more of that uh, probably next week. I'm looking forward to resuming that.